Hi, I'm Crystal Hart. Welcome to the Crystal Hart Show. We are in Chelsea, the heart of the art world, <laughs> here at the Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery. It's Halloween, that's the theme, and we're going to walk around, talk to some of the artists about their paintings. First, we have the owner here, Ruthie Tucker. Crystal, thank you so much for honoring Amsterdam Whitney Gallery and being here and filming us for the Crystal Heart Show, which is a primetime New York TV show. Amsterdam Whitney Gallery is located in the heart of Chelsea at 25th Street between 10th and 11th Avenues. Behind us, we have the country, and I'm sort of a country girl at heart. Sally Ruddy is with us. She's going to give us, what's your philosophy on painting? Well, I truly paint from my heart, and this is my country. This is where I live in California. We live on a small al almond ranch. We say almond, and the, we actually brought some almonds for Ruthie. <laughs> Fresh from harvest. We're just finishing harvest. Oh, those are from your... They're from our farm, yeah. From your farm. Oh, yeah, dear. So do have one when we're finished. And um, I just really try to capture the sweetness of this moment and preserve it and find beauty in the country, in my work. Now this first, we have this first uh, painting over yeah. here. Could you tell us, uh, elaborate a little bit? This is called the Obertheer Barn. And we joke and say, is it Obertheer or over there? But the, the family's name is actually Obertheer. And I think it's so beautiful because they built that little turret on the top. You don't usually see that on a barn. And um, my little granddaughter at the time I was painting that was madly in love with the color purple. So I put a lot of purple in there just for her. <laughs> and then these are almond trees in full bloom. And this is called bee boxes. And the trucks in the springtime roll up with loaded with these boxes of bees and just drop them along the roadside in the orchards. And my little granddaughter would say when we go for our morning walk, shh, don't wake the bees. <laughs> <laughs> I see your granddaughter, little granddaughter has played a big role. Yeah. And hey, I see this pointer's coming in handy. <laughs> How about here? And this is actually a, uh, owned by the Crabtree family, but I called it Red Barn. Um, we had such a cloudy spring this year, and the, the sky was actually kind of pinkish, so I um, tried to capture that. And this is somewhat abstract. I try to stay a little bit loose, with, and I work in oils. So um, that's that one. And this one... Wait, and before we get to this one, because it's like one of my favorites, because <laughs> moo. I love cows. I have cows in my apartment in New York City. So tell me. Well, I call this sunny cows because the dairy industry already took happy cows. So, <laughs> But you can see there's a lot of sun on their backs, and um, it's just part of my environment. So. Oh, and all the way from California, how are you enjoying New York City? Oh, I'm loving it. We come every year for this, and I'm just loving it. We've been to the theater, shopping, eating, drinking, <laughs> having a great time. And now you're in Chelsea at the Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery, the heart of, of the art world here in Chelsea. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>